This video is about the effect of the sales tax on market equilibrium. We have studied the market equilibrium before. We have calculated its values, but in this case we will see that how the tax can affect the outcome. And if we talk about the sales tax, it's about consumers as they have to pay on it. Therefore, we choose the demand curve for it and we uh, observe its effect via the effect on the quantity demanded as well. So it affects it unfavorably because when the tax is levied on the consumer, the price will increase and it actually discourages them a little bit and the demand that they do for that certain good is likely to decrease. But it has more than this effect and that is something we can do simply by solving this as we are given the demand function and the supply function and we are trying to mathematize the effect of the sales tax and it is 0.75 dollar and how this will change the equilibrium uh, we can do this by resorting to the equilibrium condition for equilibrium condition we equate the quantity demanded with quantity supplied and the demand and supply functions are to be considered here when we do so our result would be p is equal to 4 we have skipped over a few basic steps because equating these terms is quite easy and the answer would be p is equal to 4 and now we have equilibrium output equilibrium output can be found simply by putting this equilibrium value of p in the equation and after substitution we can simplify this and this would be considered as the equilibrium output because we have used the equilibrium price and the equilibrium output is 4000 in this case. Now we can consider the effect of the tax on the equilibrium. As we know it's sales tax so it's going to affect the consumer for which the demand function needs to be tweaked a little bit and for that we need to add the tax on the price that the consumer is paying. So if he was paying this amount he has to pay this amount additional this which is the tax and uh, we are solving it because we know the value of tax that is 0.75. Now the simplification would lead to this new equation that is the demand equation and we are going to use this equation instead of the other demand equation. And now it is the situation where the sales tax is considered. So it is the post sales tax equilibrium and it is equal to the new demand curve and the old supply curve, their equality. Supply is not affected because the tax is levied on the consumer side, not on the supply side. So it is basically the post sales tax demand versus post sales tax supply. So we should write demand here because it is the demand on this side. So equating them in symbolic terms and then putting the values of their equations we can solve and we will get the equilibrium price which is 3.75. This is the equilibrium price which is post sales tax. If we compare it with the previous price, that is the original or pre-sales tax price, it was 4. Now it has come to this. Now we should see the diagrammatical depiction and it is here. This was the first equilibrium and due to the shift that is from D1 to D2, we get E2. This is the new equilibrium. Previously the price was 4, but now it is 3.75. The equilibrium output was 4000, now it will be 3500. Uh, it can be calculated by using this price either in the post sales demand function or pre sales supply function. Either of these equations will give us the equilibrium output of 3500. This is a small DIY for you. You can do it yourself. Now, the consumer bears the legal burden to pay the sales tax. 
so the consumer price by the producer price and the consumer tax receipt will be summed up due to which the answer will be 4.5 so the producer and government they are going to get these shares now if we plot this this was the price the new price that the consumer would be paying now this is the producer price that we have found in as a result of the equilibrium but the tax has to be paid which is 0.75 so the difference from this point to that point is 0.75 it means that this is the change consumer is paying 4.5 and producer is getting 3.75 so this much of the amount is actually the consumers tax which is to be paid by him so you see the distribution of the consumer tax and the producers price is here now we can do further comparison of this that is the post sales tax equilibrium output by calculating this output with the post sales demand function as well as pre sales supply function so this diy is already solved for you but you you can again solve it yourself and do some rehearsal so the answer is 3500 as we have seen in the diagram so in this way we can do the analysis of the effect of tax on the consumer for example the sales tax and how we can get the new market equilibrium uh, uh, price as well as the output in the next video we will do the analysis for the tax which is levied not on the consumers rather on the suppliers thank you